And maybe I'm equating heart of the earth with Native Americans. And maybe that's a false no, equation. That's the right equation. Is it? It, it, was yeah. a, it was a Native American school. Uh, school, but the principal was embezzling money. Yes. So they uh, they fa they fired him, or they or is, is there legal issues with that? You know, I'm not. Don't give me on all the details uh. on this because I really don't know. But I know that they last night they were terminating the tr the school, and that there was several upset parents there, and terminating the school. There, yeah. All the teachers are done, and that they're closing the school. The city is. Yeah, the school board. The school board. Mm -hmm. Well, they obviously has some say over charter schools, then, don't they? Yeah. Um, With their, they're terminating their contract. Yeah, that's what I should say. But the school. So they won't get any more funding. It. Right. So that pretty much covers it. Right. Uh, gosh, so there must have been a lot of upset parents. There was. And that's why I said it was a <laughs> kind of a fun one to be at. Just to is it a? Um, is it like a? A big table up top that the school school board sits at. Yes. And then the audience is like, right. You know, um, that's cool. Maybe I'll go to one of those. This sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> When's the next school closing? <laughs> yeah. yeah um, uh, you'll have to let me know when you're on the school board. <laughs> and so, when something like that happens, where do the students go then? They just go to the nearest public school or whatever. Well, I guess there's going to be some help in transitioning these children, but I, I found it just really sad that because one man screwed up the school, then, you know, all these kindergartners and first graders, and they're not going to go back to what's familiar to them. No. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, so, what's... What's it like campaigning for school board? Is it like running for any other political office, as far as you can tell, or is it? You know, I've never ran for any political office, mm -hmm. and this is really very new to me. Not what I expected, but um, we, it's been a full plate for me, I guess, <laughs> on top of being a mother of five. Mm -hmm. um, we've had meet, we have meetings at my house once a week, and you and your campaign? My campaign committee, yeah. yeah. My brother really is the one who encouraged me to step up to this, and I'm glad he did. He understands my passion for education and my passion for freedom. So Great. he's there all the time with me at most of my events. And Good deal. I appreciate that. Um, and this is for the upcoming election in November? Yes. So when people vote for their presidential candidate, they will also decide on... The school board. Well, prior to that, though, we have a primary, September 9th, and that's the date that we really need to get out and vote. Okay. That'll determine, uh, is that a party primary, or is it, how does that operate? No, school board's nonpartisan. Okay. But we have nine um, candidates up for three seats. Nine candidates, three seats, okay. So this primary will narrow it down to six candidates. Okay, and then the last six of you play musical chairs or something. Well, for the three. <laughs> you, pl you, you, you. That then that determines that the election. That determines right. At November or whatever. Right. Uh, will be the the day where the six become three. Right. And the three are now on the school board. Um. So are three retiring? No, two are incumbents. They're also running. Oh, okay. And I'm not sure what the third. Is doing. Okay. Uh, how how uh, how often do school board members have to run? It's a four-year term. Okay. So you, if so, every year a president is elected, the school board is voted on. Right. At least for a certain for those seats. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then there's nine total. Or right. How many school boards? There's there? seven total. Okay. So in another four years, four seats will be opened up. Okay. Right. Okay. I believe I'm right. Or two years. Or two. If yeah, they alternate, yeah, something right, like that. Right. Um, so there's seven school board members all together. Right. And the school board, does the mayor have a lot of say in what happens with the schools, or is that completely up to the school board? I mean, are they the head, are they the authority, ultimately, of what, you know, what, what's, what gets taught, what gets, what gets spent on all these decisions? I believe that's where it, I mean, the superintendent was up in the front with the school board. Okay. He's up there. 
Is there a superintendent for each school, or is there a superintendent of Minneapolis, period? District. I believe it's just a, the district one. That's what Minneapolis is. Oh, I have <laughs> one superintendent for that. See, again, I went to a school where I w we, our school was the only one in the district. Okay. So, because I'm from rural Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And so our superintendent was at my school. Oh. So I've always thought that there was a superintendent <laughs> per school. I don't believe That's it. not the case. Okay. That's funny. That's why Superintendent Chalmers always came from out of the school to visit the Simpson School. Okay. He wasn't in the building. <laughs> he had to come from outside. And I always wondered why he did that. Hmm. It's because he didn't office in the building like my superintendent did. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, we've got a few minutes left. Uh, do you have any other main points that you kind of want to hit on? Uh, any... I don't know. You know when you when you when you when you sit back and you sort of view your mission, you know, trying to get on the school board, and you see how you see the state of how uh, the schools in Minneapolis are performing or underperforming today. You know, you have this uh, strong push for sixty million more dollars that are gonna, you know, where does that sixty million come from, by the way? That comes from our property tax dollars. Our property taxes will go up. Our property taxes, the sole resource. For school funding? No. No? No. Okay. But that's what from this levy referendum. There's also like sales tax and things that some in okay. federal funding. There's some federal funding sure. for schools. So no. So I do help with the schools a little bit. Yeah. When I buy things. <laughs> yeah. I'm a renter. Yeah, okay. I don't suffer that property tax pain. How much are property taxes for a two hundred thousand dollar property or two hundred fifty dollars or you know? I have no idea, and I'm interested to know that. Okay. Well, when we moved into our home in 1999, our property taxes were right around $2,000. Now, today, our most recent bill is um, $6,836 for our single-family home. Now, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a big uh, percentage <laughs> increase. $6,800 for a single-family home in Washburn? In Whittier. 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 Which isn't... I mean, it's one of the nicer, it's a nice neighborhood. I'm not right. going to say it's not a nice neighborhood, but it's not, yeah, you know, right. Penwood or anything right. like that. $6,800 a year. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's a lot. Of, it's a lot of money. We are, you know, a family of seven, and we're living off of less than $60,000 a year. So that's a huge amount of money for us. And it, you know. And that'll go up again. Yeah. And well, it's already more than tripled in the last 10 years. Mm hmm well, that's significant, and I hope people, you know, recognize that. Certainly, renters don't feel that pain, but I, I kind of feel your pain yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to obviously do that. I think that, uh, uh, I mean, that's that's. I think that's more or close to what I pay in rent the whole year. Wow. So you have a mortgage on top of that, probably, and so, boy, I don't feel so bad about renting anymore. <laughs> Now you see why I'm a concerned taxpayer. Too. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we're out of time. Okay. Thank you very much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Um, let me put your website up there one more time. Can you see that? I don't have my glasses on. Yes. Okay, good. And I will put up our email right there and let anyone at home know that if you're interested in giving me any feedback, giving the show any feedback on any guests that you'd like to see on the show, any questions you might have about the guests that we had on today, uh, about the show in general, please email and please let us know what you're thinking. Um, we'd like to know, uh, you know what the show is, 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 is doing for the public and how the public can feedback and help create this show to be more something that uh, you know, the whole community of Minneapolis can help create. So thank you very much for joining us and we hope to see you again. Bye-bye.